favorites. I love doing these videos even though I've only done one. I think it's one of those things that when you start a channel you're like, oh that's the type of video I want to do and monthly favorites have always been one of those videos. So to get a second chance to do this I'm really excited. Plus I'm excited for what? Oh magic there's my pen. Okay. I'm excited for what's to come. I think the la next three months are gonna be freaking spectacular. We've got October with Halloween, more fall stuff. Then November, Thanksgiving, and more fall stuff. Oh my gosh. And then on December, oh my goodness, we're Christmas. Oh, I'm like so, 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 so excited. I think this is gonna be such a great year for this channel. While we're thinking about October, I want you guys to think, keep in mind any scary reacts that you'd like for me to check out and use the hashtag scary react or scare react. Also, I wanna thank everybody that checked out my fall leaf speed paint and if you haven't seen it check out the link in the description box below the, the video is going to be on the end card of this video and the card is probably already popped up or going to pop up at the top of the screen last year when i did a christmas tree painting i did it as a giveaway so uh, one lucky winner won it if you'd like for me to do that as a giveaway again let me know down below or if you think i should keep it because i was thinking about maybe growing a catalog of artwork so i have more to flip through at the beginning of the videos and stuff to kind of remember my art style by so let me know your tips on that should i keep it or should i do a giveaway let me know down below now the thing that some of you guys came for september monthly favorites <laughs> Okay, you know we had to start off with food. I mean, did you really expect anything else? This month, I don't know if I said this for last month, but for this month, these babies right here. Starting off at the beginning of the month, I was eating a lot more of them, and then when the hurricane came, and we had people at our house, they bought me some more because they're like, thanks for letting us stay at your house, here's some cookies, and I was like, come on in. I have been enjoying these babies, but, in the past week or two, I have been doing better with my eating and health habits, so I've been eating a lot better. I have been working out a lot more, so what? Why your girls working out? Um, so I have been limiting myself. In this week's time, I've had five cookies. In the whole week, okay? Five cookies. So, ooh, I smell it. Let me keep it, put it away so I don't end up eating it and adding, that, adding more to that number. Now also, okay, last week, all right, what is my time? Females, you know what I'm talking about. I need a chocolate. So I found this recipe for three ingredient ice cream. It was on Tasty, um, Tasty is the YouTube channel. The one I made though, I kind of freestyled a little bit. I made a chocolate ice cream with chocolate brownie. If y'all wanna see the video of that, I can definitely make a video of it. It is so freaking good. It was like the perfect, reincarnation of what I was thinking, of what I wanted to taste. It was right there. Plus, I had like a little brownie piece, like the edge of the brownie that I didn't chop up. I made a slice, warmed it up, put some of that baby ice cream on it, girl, and some sprinkles, girl! You know! It was amazing. <sighs> Before you freak out, beauty's not gonna be this long this month because this month, I don't know if you guys have been, if you guys follow my main channel, some of you guys do, but I don't know if all of you do. I have been wearing a lot less makeup this month. I wanted to, it was hand in hand, like I needed to re-up on my regular brand, but I, there was a hurricane and some things, I, I just didn't get a chance to get it. And plus, it's, it's kind of expensive for a bottle of foundation. And I was using some makeup that I've had before. And when I put it on, I would break out instantly. I, I feel like by the end of the day, I would have little tiny bumps all over my face. And so I was like, I need to have my give my face a break from foundation and makeup and stuff like that. So that way it can kind of heal. So I've been, going makeup free for most of this month on my main channel and on this channel, but 
I've been trying to take way better care of my skin. One of the things that I've been doing, besides washing my face more regularly, I have to be better at that. I use Proactive, so washing my face, but it, Proactive really dries out my face, and then if I put some things on, my face is naturally oily, so it's like this weird combination. So the thing that I've been finding that has been very helpful is sweet almond oil. This is just natural skincare oil with vitamin E. What I do with this is I just mix this into my Estee Lauder Day Wear Matte Oil Control Antioxidant Moisture Gel Cream that I put on my face. This is my day cream that I wear. I mix these two together. Now it says you can use one to two drops of almond oil per teaspoon of face cream that you have. I mix it in and then just dab a little bit on my fingers. You do not need a lot. Dab it on my fingers, rub it in, and then just rub it into my skin. And I have noticed that it has cleared up a lot of my skin imperfections. I mean, I do have some spots still that over time will heal, but it's done a great job of clearing my skin, of nurturing my skin, giving my skin the nutrients that it needs just by using regular face cream. And as long as you're not allergic to nuts, because I don't know how the oil would affect you if you are allergic to nuts, but check out some almond oil and read up on the research about it. It's got a lot of great benefits. Lastly for beauty, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things is this body wash, okay? This is from Caress, this is the fine fragrance, fra fragrance, it's the fine fragrance one. Even the gorgeous. <laughs> it's evenly gorgeous for gorgeous radiant skin with burnt brown sugar and karité butter, carrot butter, I don't know what that is. But it's an exfoliating body wash and I love it. It smells so, <sighs> it smells so nice. This is perfect for the fall. This is like the best fall body wash that you could get because it's it, it exfoliates your body just so sweetly. You can smell the brown sugar, which is so perfect for fall. That warm smell. There's just like a nice, a hint of like a, a hint of cinnamon, just a tiny hint of cinnamon. Not too much where it's overpowering. Uh, but it's also got like a, 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 a note, a finishing note of like cotton candy-ish. So it's got this warm, sweet scent that is just so welcoming, so nice, so relaxing. Taking a shower with this and then going, laying in your bed with your favorite Moo Moo, you're in heaven. Or pajamas for guys, or guys can wear Moo Moo's too. Let's all wear Moo Moo's. This is Bay right here. Mwah, I love you. Hope your bottle's clean because I just touched you with my lips. Moving on to entertainment. watching Daredevil. Yes, I know, I know, I know I am like years late. I've been walking on the treadmill and I'll watch an episode of Daredevil while I'm walking on the treadmill. And it is, it's a great show. It's a really well written, well acted, well executed show. It's very deep, very intense, and it's very dark. It's very dark, right? Without murder, it's super dark. Well, I wouldn't say without murder. Without him murdering. <laughs> it's super dark. It's like, whoa. That's how I feel about the show. Like, whoa. And I really love it. So if you're old enough to check it out and you haven't, do yourself a favor and check out Daredevil, the Marvel series on Netflix. I don't really know if I have a favorite movie this month. The reason I'm bringing it up is because I've been so busy this month. I think I have seen four movies in this entire month. We bought Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 on Blu-ray, so that was one. I saw Get Out finally this month, and that movie really messed with me on a psychological level. So we ain't gonna talk about that. I saw It, which also psychologically bothered me on a certain type of level. So we also ain't gonna talk about that. And then the other movie I saw was a Netflix movie. It was like Reality High, I believe is the movie. So I guess out of the four, ah, uh, crap. I wanna say, I wanna say it would be a tie between Reality High and Guardians of the Galaxy. I know, before you start freaking out, all right? Reality High was not a perfect movie, but it was super cute. It was a very cute movie. It had some online creators in it. Fousey was in it, so it was cool. The main character, she was super quirky, weird, cute, nerdy, and I loved that. And then Guardians of the Galaxy, I loved the visual. I loved Peter Quill, like Star-Lord. I, I loved the group of them, um, the rest of the Guardians, and 
I love the soundtrack of that movie. That soundtrack is like boss, okay? It is so good. I love the soundtrack of that movie. Get Out was rough for me. It was a great movie, like when you like break it down, like acting was great, score was great, story was great, but it really messed with me. After like I was just sitting there, I couldn't really talk. I, it put me in a, a, a really bad space. <laughs> because of the movie. If you've seen it, then you understand I, the psychological level it could take you to. If you haven't seen it, and you're old enough to see it, check it out, but check it out with somebody you can talk to about, about it afterwards, because I was seeing it with some friends, and afterwards, it was nice to talk to them, but I was like, I was kind of like, it shook my core. That's that's the type of movie. It, okay, at Breaking It Down was a great movie, like acted well, story was well, uh, it was a well thought out story, planned story. Filmed very well. Um, I think that the actor who played the clown was frighting, frighteningly amazing at what he was doing. Like, great acting choices that he made. Um, but I never want to talk about the ish because that ish, even now, thinking about it, I'm getting scared. So, we're moving on. Music! Music is happier. This month, I have been a little bit obsessed with Dua Lipa, okay? And not like, I haven't listened to her whole album yet on Spotify, no lie. I've just been playing the same two or three songs from her over and over and over again. One is New Rules, Scared to be Lonely, and Blow Your Mind. Those three songs have been freaking bang for a bit of time. I am in love with them. I should listen to the rest of her album. It's probably awesome too. But I love her style. I love her musical style. I love her vocal style. I love her physical style, like her fashion sense and everything. I really am kind of a little bit obsessed with her as a like artist and person. So I think she's really, really cool and I need to see what else she's got so I can check out and fall in love with the other stuff. <laughs> YouTube. I've still been playing Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch. It is still a lot of fun. I was laying up in my bed literally last night till like 2 a.m. after the live stream and I'm just laying in my bed and I'm like, I gotta beat this water blight. Like I'm, I'm trying to do it. I'm getting frustrated but I'm loving it at the same freaking time. Freaking awesome game. Dumb story, but a great game. It's a lot of fun to play. So if you have not, check it out. Also, as you know, I'm addicted to Candy Crush. I have found a new love, Candy Crush Soda. That one, I like when you pop the little soda bottles and the soda fills up the screen. I love it. I, it's just simple things, you know? The colors, the sounds, all that stuff. It's just the simple things that make me love it, and I love it. Plus, they have like competitions where you can join up, team up with other people. They just randomly choose them though, so it's not like you can team up with your friends, but you can team up with people, and your team could beat other teams, and you get extra like prizes and collectible items, power-ups that you can use in the game. So they found a way to kind of make it even more addicting and Hello, on YouTube, I'm really loving Slime Rancher. Slime Rancher is so freaking cute. The slime is super cute, but they're freaking annoying as heck, okay? They're mean and scary and annoying, but they are cute as ever on that game. Like they're so bouncy and giddy, like ha ha! You like the sounds that they make? They're so cute. I think it's a very colorful game. I mean, it's little globs of goop just bouncing around. And I am really thoroughly enjoying it on my channel. So if you haven't checked out that series, definitely check it out on my main channel. When I do get to watch YouTube, sometimes I'll, it'll be pockets of a certain person or something like that. So right now, I'm catching up on Corey X Kenshin and Dashi. Me and my husband together have been like trying to catch up on their videos and a couple of Poise videos, videos as well. Those are the YouTubers that this month I've been, we've been watching, I guess, the most of. Those are all my favorites. Let me know what your favorites are down below in the comment section. If you, there's an idea of a video you'd like to see, let me know down below as well. Don't forget to click that bell so you're notified of when I post. I love you guys as always. Until